Hey, hey, what up, Internet? This is Leonidas from Premium23.com, and right now I'm going to quickly show you how to make a paper call campaign. Uh, this can be done on your first try, and hopefully you'll start making money. Alright, so, we have our AdWords account. Okay, here's our AdWords account. Let's hit create your first campaign, or if you already have one, uh, go ahead and make one. We're going to hit all features, we're going to name our campaign, in this case we're going to do home development. Alright. We are going to, in this case, just until uh, the end of June, we're going to switch to legacy campaigns. So switch to legacy campaigns, there we go. Devices, we're going to go turn off desktop, we're going to turn off tablets. We are going to only target the United States with our carriers. Um, in this case, we're going to target the United States. Now, if you have a list of s specific states, for example, Wyoming or Tennessee, all right, you can put in whatever states that you would typically target, but in this case, we'll stick with the entire United States. Make sure for your targeting, you target people in my target location. Otherwise, expect calls from, uh, let's say, Jamaica or outside of the United States altogether, which is gonna waste your money. Okay, so if you have that on, we're gonna go to bidding and budget. Now, I personally um, like to manually control my bids. I don't want AdWords charging me ten dollars a click. So. I go here and I'll put, you know, three dollars a bid. I used to do it at two, but the more money you make, you can actually go three, four, five, however much you want to spend. And twenty-five is a good testing budget. Now delivery method, we need to test out our budget as quickly as possible to see how it works. So I like to put down accelerated um, budget. Okay. Now here is your ad extensions. Okay, so it's important that you hit call. Now, if you are in the United States, you'll be able to see the Google call forwarding number. Um, if, you, if you're not, not a big deal. You can also hit only smartphones. Alright. And show the links just, uh, show just the phone number. Alright. So we're going to do 888. Uh, this is just a random phone number. Alright. Now we're going to set up our schedule, so whatever our schedule is for our particular paper call offer that you got from your network. Uh, this is not a particularly... Uh, I'm just making up these hours as they go along, okay? So here we go, all weekdays, Saturday, Sunday, typically the hours are less, so try to emulate that as closely as possible. And save and continue. Now you have your ad. Now you have to make an ad group. So to start off, um, there's two things we can do. We can do some a little bit of keyword research as well. We can simply make our first ad. So let's make a quick ad here, for example. So ad group. We'll name it uh, basement remodeling. And for your copy. Always try to incorporate a question in the headline, so need basement remodeling, question mark. Alright, um, typically a free consultation slash free quote is uh, should be your description, within your description. So in this case, I'm going to say free quote, tap to call now, okay. Click to call now, Google will not accept, but they will accept tap to call now for whatever reason. Our display URL should be wherever, um, you know, you can pick any random website from Google. So you can actually go to Google right now and type in uh, base right, remodeling. Okay. And you could actually just take whatever site you want. So here we go, 1-800-basement.com. So we'll simply use that site. If you have your own site that you made, a landing page, you could use that as well. But in this case, we'll just use 1-800-basement.com. And that's our destination URL. Description, um, there's two ways you can do this. You could do a simple keyword insertion. All right, so, um, 
contact a local contract for now. All right. So what this will do, what uh, this little keyword script does is that whenever somebody types in a search into Google, uh, their their actual search query will replace this. But if uh, if the search query is too long, for example, let's say they type in contact a local contractor now within Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, which is about you know 100 characters long or so, um, it the this description line number one will simply stay as contact a local contractor now. All right, so uh, keywords. Now I personally like to um, research my keywords, but in this case I probably know what they're going to be anyway. So there's two ways to incorporate your keywords. There's one is phrase matching, so basement remodeling, okay, and then there's also um, broad match, which is what I highly recommend you use for most of your campaigns. So it should, it'll be basement and then remodeling. Okay? So the above, uh, your ad will only show up when it's this exact, or for example, as long as these two words are in this particular order in the search query, your ad will show up. In this case, if these two words are somewhere in the uh, person's search query, these um, exact words are in somewhere in the search query, then it will work. So for example, your ad will show up for phrase, I need basement remodeling, okay? Your ad will show up uh, under phrase match, or basement remodeling, so I have a basement. I need remodeling, and in this case, your ad will show up for this particular keyword. Um, right? So, I personally like to use broad, uh, broad match modifier. This one, but you can use you can, that. You could do phrase match as well. Okay. So placement. Uh, this is new. I'm not sure what this is for. Oh, my bad. This is for uh, Display Network. We don't need this. Not a big deal. And your default bid, three dollars. Now, if you haven't set up billing, billing already, you can do that. Um, I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that for this account. So, set up billing later. All right. So now our ads are pretty much ready. Okay. We have our ad here. Uh, we have our two keywords that will trigger for this ad and we have our call, exten call extension which is right here so what will happen is the ad will show up oh one more thing I forgot to mention make sure you go into settings and you go into networks and you disable include search partners alright what that does is when your ad starts to trigger all right, you simply go into click type, in this case, well, we don't have any data yet. You'll get headline clicks and mobile only clicks, all right? And by disabling search partner networks, you're not going to get any headline clicks, which would go to your website. Instead, you'll only get mobile only clicks, which will go to directly into a phone call, which is what you want, okay? And that's how you set up a quick paper call campaign. Now, um, if you thought this video was helpful, then I can make a video on how to track your keywords and such. Oh, next, let's go to quickly how to get some keywords. All right, let's go to our keyword tool. Let's have in basement remodeling. Okay, we're gonna add keywords to our ad group. And as you can see, most of the keywords already have basement remodeling, basement remodel. Um, here we go, here's a couple other keywords. Basement wall finishing. So what I would do is I would add this keyword basement plus wall okay. plus finish what else? Oh, 
and also in order to remove some of these keywords, we can also do uh, basement remodeling, so we can filter out what we, we already don't need anymore. Uh, basement wall finishing, basement wall finishing. Basement model. And you see we have basement floors, uh, framing a basement, basement plans and ideas. So basement plus plans, basement plus ideas. Basement plus walls. And one more basement plus framing. Alright? So any variation, any search query that has these two words somewhere in that query will trigger. So these pretty much these exact words or close variations. Not like uh, not broad, super broad variations. Okay, so here we go. Save. And as you can see, we get a very simple quality score here. Um, once your ad starts to run a little bit more, it'll you know go up in quality score. And yeah, so go now. Hopefully, your ad gets approved and it'll start running. Okay, so that's Leonidas here, and hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. One up it and maybe share it. And uh, I'll see you soon. All right, adios, Leonidas.